Heroes for Life. You guys have all served the community so well that you're being honored today. Blythe, I'm going to start with you. You have served with Red Cross for many years. Tell me about that experience. Well, I started out in scouting with Red Cross, but the more recently our neighbor's house burned down or got a fire there and I went out and saw the Red Cross working and so became interested in them. Well, and you know, so many people will maybe just turn the other way and look the other way and not get involved and you've gotten yourself involved for a long time. Well, there are a variety of things you can do in the Red Cross and that fit many of my interests, so it was a good thing for me. Well, you might find something as well. Think about that as we talk to these heroes. Kaylee, you're 11 years old and tell me about your hero experience. Um, I was outside and heard my neighbor's mug break and she had fallen face first and was bleeding and she w has been a smoker most of her life so she was on oxygen and she hadn't took it out with her and so she had fallen face first and was it was hard for her to breathe and so we, me and my mom went over and I called 911 and we got her. Well and that's interesting you just hear some glass break and you think huh there might be a problem there. That's fantastic. So congratulations. Shane, tell me, Deputy Zillis, I should say, tell me about the experience that happened out in Wellsville last year. Uh, I think that's what you're being honored for, along with all of the service that you give. Was there an explosion of some kind? Yes. Uh, the neighbors had a propane explosion in their home, uh, leveled their whole house. Uh, me and my father responded down. We were close, working on the farm went down and found the the house leveled didn't think i'd find anybody that was uh alive in the house and the one daughter was outside and said that her brother was also inside of the home somewhere uh we began searching for him found him and and got him out so it turned you out you were you were off duty right i remember seeing the news coverage i think you were out in your sweats like you'd been relaxing at home right <laughs> I was out, yeah, I was just out helping my father on the farm, which is very close to that house, so. Yeah, so even though he's Deputy Zillis, he's just the common man on that day That's helping right. out, a hero of the day. Matthew, we all know you, and I should just call you Matt, with the food bank here in Logan and Cache Valley. Yep, I keep saying I have the best job in the valley. I get to help people every day of the week, and it's what I enjoy doing, so.